Get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Now get out there and see what you can find. It is time for everyone to earn their keep. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. I don't think you should just be wandering around here, friend. Not a thing happens round here without an O'Driscoll saying so. Understand me? No need for threats. I ain't quarrels. Keep going! Rut! You're done now. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> for you. My sister's fella came home from the bar all fired up, left her with two black eyes. The hell's going on? <laughs> Why are you vexing me, eh? Come on, sir. Try to remember what really happened at Sylvia's Saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient history. Done and dusted. The dead got off lucky. The living got to keep suffering. Same as always. But did you shoot the Newton twins? I don't give a pig's penis about the Newton twins. One of them was a girl, anyhow. But you had been friends back in 73. You rode the Alabaster Trail together. Funny thing about pigs' penises. They're curly, like their tails. <laughs> Put that in your fucking book, Plato. <sighs> this isn't going very well. Apparently not. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Luzi Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. How's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. Then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. 
Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Calloway. Any of them get uppity, shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some sad, deluded fools like him, ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot them? It does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. Easy, whoa. Yeah. Here's trouble, all right. Hey, you. What do you want? Howdy. You Granger? That's my name. And my occupation, too, if you hadn't noticed. Weren't always like that, though, were you? Used to be a quick draw guy. You knew Jim Boy Calloway? Used to be's correct. Then there's a long over. And who might you be? Don't matter. I need you to tell me about Jim Boy. Just a quote for a book. A book about Jim Boy? <laughs> well, shit. I can't talk to you now. Look at me. A knee-deep in hog crap. Well, don't mind me. We can talk while you work. <laughs> I ain't talking and shoveling. Besides, a young man like you get it done in half the time. I don't know about that. What's to know? You interested in the old days? If you shovel this shit, I tell you some stories. You keep your hands clean, I don't give you squat. God damn it. These better be some stories. Oh, they are. Pick up the fork and get to work. Or get out of here and stop wasting my time. All right. Shovel your damn shit. Jim Boy weren't nothing, you know. Me? I killed men, women, and children, too. Animals. I even killed rocks. And I killed them good. I shot folks, stabbed folks, skinned folks. I scalped some. <laughs> Boy, they scream when you scalp them. Hey, let me work. Don't know what's got into these hogs, but I know what's coming out of them. <laughs> I bash folks, butchered folks. I burn folks alive. Buried folks alive. One time, I... Yeah, I get it, all right? You're mean. What about Callaway? You have no idea, girly. If I a feminine type like you, I'd probably have chopped your head off, stuffed you, and eaten you like a sausage. No doubt. Now it's clean enough to eat off. Uh, I guess I'm done. You get that barrel to the shit pile, and I suppose you is. All right. No shortage of shit round here. Comes from hungry hogs and no hands. Ugh. Hell, Ugh. that stinks. <laughs> okay, I cleaned up your mask. Go on, tell me about Calloway. I said I'd tell you stories. I didn't say they'd be about him. Don't trifle with me, old man. You knew him. Just give me something, any. You making a book? You should make it about me. They're just words, is all. Give me something to say, and I'll leave you alone. You owe me that. Hey, you be careful. Killer like me, it don't take much to end up on the end of my knife. 
One time. You know I... what? I don't think you were anything at all. Just a crazy old man. I ain't a killer. Well, you'd already be hog feed. I hadn't made a deal with the Federals got this far. This is your last chance, Mr. Granger. Give me a quote from the book. Hey, hey, hey you don't, you don't have no man of peace, no government witness. <laughs> Calloway said you was full of piss, but he didn't tell me the half of it. I'm itching to drop you, girlie. Only you ain't worth my time. I, I got too much to lose. Too much to lose? Well, seeing as I cleaned up this pig's die, I figure I'm in my rights to wreck it. Let's see. You don't want to do that? You walk away right now. Well, well. All I wanted was a quote. You don't know who you're trifling with. That's my stick! You walk away right now. Don't do it! There you go. No. No. No! You did no! You just took yourself a regular shit shower, Mr. Granger. Boy, that's real nasty. You earned yourself a killing. And I'm gonna enjoy it now. Draw! It's gonna be the last thing you do. Stage master, help! What the devil? <laughs> Mister, I don't hardly know what to say. Thanks, I guess. You done me a service. Hey, look. The stage company's gonna write this off as a robbery anyway. If you can get in that lockbox, you can take what you want from it. But ain't stealing if it's already stolen. Got that right. Word of advice? You see anyone, Mike could be in O'Driscoll? Head the other way.
listening to your bullcrap all day, every day. That's it. I'm gonna knock you upside your head. Back to work before I bust the parry. That's for all them not. This ain't how it looks. I can't believe that worked. Yeah, well, we don't got time to celebrate. Come on. So, what's your plan, anyway? Plan? I plan not to get caught. It ain't my problem. Shut up. Hurry up. It's funny, I get a certain foreman here regularly. We trade their goods for mine. But something tells me the law don't know about this. Fine by me. Thanks. You dressed up like that. <laughs> I've seen some sick perversions in my time. But this one might take the prize. Wait, please. You gotta help me. It's that crazy gunsmith. He made me dress up like this. He's got me chained to the goddamn bird. Yeah. First time here, I think. The store's pretty self-explanatory. Feel free to browse goods and sundries on the shelves. Or there's a full range in the catalog right here. Oh, uh, okay, sorry. I just assumed you couldn't read. And that should be good. Goodbye. Gotta get me out, please. It's getting worse. You know, you should really get out more. Are you seriously making fun of me? I've been kidnapped. Help me, you bastard. Much as I hate to step on another man's boots, I'm gonna have to ask you to take the mask off in here. I want to see what's in that basement of yours. Show me. Right now. Nothing to no worse down there, I swear. Well, why don't I be the judge of that? Open it now! All right, all right. I ain't got nothing to hide. I got my boy sleeping down there. It's such a shame to wake him. You know, you can always come back after he wakes up. You, you just stay away from me. Now what I tell you about talking to your pa that way? Oh, oh, thank God. He can't see. I only do it for his own good. Please. Please help me. You're not going to help me. Take anything you want. Just leave us in peace. I'm never getting out of here, am I? Take anything you want. Just don't harm my boy.
Just what the hell is going on here? He was being a bad little boy, stealing candy from the store again. It's for his own good. I'm not your little boy, you mad son of a bitch. So I know this must look bad, but the boy needed to be disciplined. Why are you wearing that sailor suit? That crazy maniac put me in it. He thinks I'm his kid's son. Kidnapped me, he did. Do I look like a kid? <laughs> Always in such a rush to grow up these days, aren't they? Sometimes they need a little tough love. No, the chain shoots. Oh, oh, finally. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh you, you I'm sick sorry. Son of a... Please forgive me. I know it was wrong. I just couldn't face that he was gone. I was teaching Sammy how to hold the rifle proper out by the river. The recoil shot him backwards. He slipped into the river. The water pulled him downstream so quick. It all happened so fast, I didn't know what to do. I searched up and down that river bank for days. But I couldn't find my boy. I just miss him so much. And you! You remind me of him. You look just like him. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Don't know what else you want from me. Take what you want. I don't care anymore. Why couldn't you stay out of this? It was all perfect and you ruined it! This is uh, very kind of you. Evening. Hello, stranger. Welcome. You have an itch. Hi, uh, folks. Evening. How do you do, sir? What are you in the market for? Buy some food. Can I get a meal? Pretend otherwise. So we out of fight. Move along. We ain't looking for your company. Hey now, you're gonna leave here. You got me? Yeah, so uh, it's all good. Calm down. Hey, man, folks. This much. I want you gone. Great. No more bets. Let's play. Yes, you want a piece. Why can't you writers leave it at the door? Please, fellas! Oh, hell. Not this! Let's see if we can't clobber some sense into you! You're weak! Just when you get got nothing! Something like that happens. You'll die for that, you son of a bitch! Social is at it again. Here. Well, I hope. 
the yard planner for any more riffraff with any of those raiders. They got a lot of respect in this community, even if they can act up out of turn. We admire traditional values here, yes, sir. And we respect good manners. Welcome. Hey, you there. A quick word. What can I do for you, sir? There's an old gunslinger I'm looking for. I heard he comes through here. Name of Midnight Billy. Oh, that old soak? Yeah, he spends days on board these trains, but he's going nowhere but the gutter. I imagine you'll find him right in the next one through here. Either that or the next one. Try them both. Look in the bar car. Good evening, sir. Mr. Midnight? Excuse me, I'm trying to drink. Mr. Midnight, listen, this won't take a moment. I just want to talk with you about your old days as a shootist. Get away from me! Hey! I didn't shoot him in his sleep! No one's I saying that! I didn't shoot him it. in his sleep, and if I did, it was the only way! Not a problem. I'm here about Jim Boy Calloway, and no one shot him yet. I knew you'd come for me! Get away from me! Mr. Midnight! Ah. <sighs> Place. I got away, but they got my wife. Please, mister. You gotta do something. All right. Where is she? It's a sack down in the swamp by the water. <laughs> okay. Go on. See if you can find the law. I'll do what I can. Uh, I'll go about finding more help. Uh, help! Somebody help!
Sorry I weren't here sooner. Oh, 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 thank the Lord you showed up when you did. You saved my honor. Christ, what a mess. Would you please get them out of here? I can't stand to touch them, and I don't want to rotten indoors. in the sack there. It ain't enough, but please take it. You're all right now, ma'am. It's over. Let's hope my Horace found another guardian angel like you. <laughs> oh, thank you again. You my guardian angel. Appreciate it. Good luck to you. Mister? Stay a while. I'd be grateful for the comfort. Gets rough out here sometimes, don't it? Mm-hmm. Keep telling myself I'll strike a rich one of these days, but that day show dragging his head. Believe you me. Can't tell you how much time I wasted chasing treasure. Spent a few weeks down around the town of Rose recently. Don't know if you ever passed through it, though. Fella told me about these two old plantation families there, how, how they had the seeds falling out. How one of them had hidden a big old pile of gold somewhere. Mm-hmm. I had a feeling this interesting. I mean, I thought what better way than to find my fortune in on the slave was filthy dollar. You understand? Not that I expect you to understand that. <laughs> Thought I was on something, too. One of their maids had showed me this old carving that said, where the death adder spits. And then I spot this place called Copperhead Landing on my map and put two and two together. Yeah, I really thought I was on to it. I spent days around there digging up ground from dawn till dusk, but found nothing but an old pair of boots I'm wearing right now. But maybe that's all the riches a man like me need. Yeah, the land gives all we need and more. The rest of it, well, uh, I'm starting to realize perhaps there's such a thing as easy money for fellas like you and me. Though I can't stop thinking I must have missed something. Anyway, it's done now. Well, thanks for listening. You know, I can't sit around here all day. You got one of them faces. Just looks real familiar. You don't know me, friend. Oh, shit. Mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna keep to myself. Goodbye. Get going right now. I'm telling you. Go the hell away. I ain't afraid to take your life, you hear? You're on! Damn it!
Okay, boy. All right, boy. Welcome to Carl Chow. Guns for every occasion. I can see you look after your firearm. Getting me a necklace. Real silver, he told me. Who? Hello? You a bounty hunter? Well, not right now, I ain't. You Black Bell? I'd like to talk to you about your Wild West days. I don't care much for reminiscing. You got any friends as bounty hunters? None that spring to mind. Well, then you done led them boys here, and you none the wiser. Ah, those bounty hunters. Knew my luck had run out sooner or sooner. Well, get inside. I'll tell him you're gone. Oh, no, no. I ain't hiding from them scalp hunters. I'm not running from them neither. And fighting? Yeah, if it's just me against them, <laughs> that'd be a waste of time and nitroglycerin. Well, let me know what I can do. You want that Wild West story, don't you? Yes, I do. All right. Get up here quick. Now, when I give you the word, hit that. Whole place is wired. Black Bell, I got a contract here for your life or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. That's mighty reasonable, mister. Come here, let me take a look at it. Come on. Oh, come on. Stop just there. Next. Thank you. 
Yeah. You got them scalp hunters off your back. Uh, for now. For now. So, you gonna tell me about your Wild West days? Running with Jim Boy Calloway? Little Boy Calloway? <laughs> the only running he did was away from a fight. And that's about the end of it. Well, the man's apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah, so they say. But, uh, don't get what's famous confused with what's true. The ones of us that lived that life, we was too busy being scared for our scalp to talk to no newspaper writers or dime novel men. Well, what were they like then? Those days they all talk about. <sighs> Same as now, I guess. Only longer ago. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna need your picture, too, if it ain't a trouble. No, sir, no trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. <laughs> Hell, great. Well, you stand over there and... Oh, let me get this thing ready. Uh, ready? How do you want me? Like this? Uh, I ain't sure. How about this, then? Okay, I got it. And I guess I'll be on my way. Here. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Bell. You gonna be all right? Oh, been running for 20 years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Please, do something. Uh, uh. Try not to bleed on me. Oh. We're nearly there. Just hold on a little longer, all right? Must stay awake. Where? Where am I? Dying. This is it. Seen everything now. My arm. I can't feel it anymore. All right, friend. All right, we're at the doctor. Good God. Quickly, bring him in here. Right here, and sit him down in this chair. What happened? Just saw you fall out of the saddle. Don't worry, you're at the doctor. Thanks, friend. I appreciate it. Sure. There's also the matter of my payment. We'll deal with that later. All right. All right. A lot of blood loss. And this wound's badly infected. Ah! I'll save as much as I can, but I'll have to amputate it. What? What did you say? Just try to breathe. Uh, I'll give you something for the pain. No. Uh, there you are. Then I'll knock him out for a while. You did a good thing bringing him here. But now, I'd recommend moving along. <clears throat> You do not want to see this. Sorry it's come to this. Ah, oh, Jesus.
you're in a bad way. But you'll pull through. That was good work, Doctor. Yeah. He's lucky. Wounds like that'll kill you if you aren't careful. He's lucky he just lost the arm. It's nice of you to stay, but don't fret. He'll make it. Come now. Let's let him rest. All we can do now is hope for the best. See you back, sir. Hey, you shouldn't be there. Don't mess around in here, please. Sorry, pal. This is invitation only. What is the matter with you? Hey. That's not going to work here. I want to see what you got behind that door back there. Now! <laughs> Nothing. This is the back terrace where people go relax and just get away from everything. Let's go in and relax then. Go on, move. Be a slow day. You know how it goes. So there you are. Where else would I be? Yeah, I suppose you're right. <gasps> hey! What the hell's going on? Wild security. What the hell's going on back here? No, nothing. Honest. I'm just paid to guard the place. To guard the back alley? Don't lie to me, you son of a bitch. I just do what I'm told. I don't ask too many questions. All right, you got three seconds before your goddamn corpse. Three, two. Okay, okay. Take it easy. <sighs> a little poker game, that's all. Third floor, upstairs. Door at the end of the hallway. Just calm down. No shooting. And... They ain't paying me enough to care about this. I won't breathe a word to no one. Fuck me. Look, I only had this job for two weeks. Like I said. and no trouble here. trouble just do what you need don't to try do. anything funny and this won't get any worse i'm not moving from here i promise just take it and leave please we don't want any trouble there there you go it's all yours just just stay calm okay i will shoot you dead right there if you don't tell me where the rest of the money is Oh, no, 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 please. Keep it together, you imbecile. You're gonna get us killed, Jim. Just tell him. Shut the hell up. There's plenty more in that safe on the wall, but only he knows the combination. All right, I'll open the damn safe. 
You need to learn when to keep your mouth shut. You're not allowed here! You pathetic little fool. Got caught in the ears? Get out! You. Alright, I just want to know if you're crazy or my uncle. You think you're a tough guy. Law me, I'm so dissing. What's the meaning of all this nonsense? Everything's fine. I was just leaving. Hey, I think someone far away is calling you. Go see him. Of course. No problems here. Partner, Woo. I was almost a meal there. I don't mean no harm, okay? Just want to speak to Hernandez. We don't take two visitors up here. Kill this fool! Out 
Flacco Hernandez, you in there? I didn't want trouble, but I'm just here to speak with you. About Boy Calloway? Put your weapons away, and I'll come out. I'm unarmed. I just want to talk. Now, boy, Calloway. Sure. Here's your message. Ah! 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 Ah!